Everyday objects is like a pretty big influence in terms of like instrument design, but lately I'm more interested in taking ideas from like existing instruments. So like combining, you know, one instrument with another and then see if they work or if, if it doesn't work. So that's kind of where my inspiration is at right now. But back when I started, it was everyday object, whether it's like a propeller on the airplane or like wind going through a pipe or just some natural phenomena or natural objects influencing me. I was at the airport waiting for the plane to uh, go and there was this like smaller plane with like a propeller and I was staring at the propeller and it's like, I want to make an instrument that spins. So I tell people like, just like go about your day and then just like pay attention to every object that you interact with throughout the day and then think, would that make an interesting instrument? I was thinking about like how to measure rotation and then I was just like Google sensors and like I found a hole sensor so it measures magnetic fields so I put magnets in the sphere, put skateboard bearings and then just like started spinning it, you know, measuring the rotation using like a magnet sensor and then from there I use Max and I can prototype a scent and then just like do proof of concepts really quickly. So I use Arduino and then send sensor value to Max and from there I can build like an entire synth and like a performance system from there so not only i have the the synth and the, all the the sensor to mapping and all of that happening like right next to it, i can have like a generative sequencer I, I have done that like live performance where i have the sound globe and playing the synth and then i have like a generative sequencer so like i i really enjoy making a uh, performance system like that i've been max patching a lot actually like this this month <laughs> So like after work, I just like, you know, eat dinner and then just like max batch until, uh, until I fall asleep. Uh, so now that I made like a bunch of different music project, I kind of figured out like my style. So, you know, I like to use sub bass. I like to use like sidechain noise and like, I like, you know, I ha like granular guitar sound. So like I have all this like stuff. So like what I'm trying to do is like take all those like muscle memory and like just really mess with that process so that I'm not making like the similar music all the time. So I love like musicians like uh, Tim Hecker and uh, Finesse. You know, they use like Max MSP to do a lot of improvisation and then record all of that and then take all of that recording and then just kind of do like a reiteration. So like I, I thought like I want to make like my own composition improvisation system that really influences me to make music that's different. With Max I can just like make things that's like not tied to a grid and it becomes more improvisational friendly. So what I would recommend for people who are starting out with Max is learn about synthesis techniques, so additive synth, subtractive, FM, and all of that. And then be able to do that in Max. And then from there, kind of jump ahead a little bit, but try to like, make a sequencer and then make that generative. The final exam of the Max MSP course that I took, like the final exam was like, make a generative sequencer. I completely bombed it. <laughs> but then like I spent that summer uh, after that semester, like really like, I, I know I made the, the generative sequencer that was like on my final exam. So like doing that was like a big learning experience. And one other thing that my, uh, my brother who's not in the music world, but he's actually like more in the design world. But he recommended like open up an example that you think is cool, take parts of it, put it into your project, and then look at another example that you like, and then kind of like put them together. So looking at examples and like, you know, every time you have an object that you're not sure how to use, there's the health file and you can open up, see how it's used, and then just copy and paste. I, I still do that to this day. And uh, that's honestly, those two things uh, are what I would recommend for people who are starting out.